Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. I'm at the giant eyeball statue at the Hotel Jewel off of Main Street. Now, let me tell you guys, it's hot as heck, but we're gonna go over a couple quick facts about this. This thing is 30 feet tall and it's been sitting right outside this historic hotel since 2013. I had to come see. So the first fact about this giant eyeball statue is that it's just, uh, excuse me. I think you caught me in your video just now. I mean, I might've, I'm just vlogging though. So anyways, guys, like I was saying, I just want to tell you about this. Actually, I didn't give you permission to film me. I would like to be taken out, please. I didn't think I needed permission. Let me ask Adal. Hello and welcome. Thank you for asking Adal. Hi there. What would you like to ask Adal today? Uh, do I need permission to film a stranger? Whether or not you can film someone um, without their permission really depends on a number of factors. Um, who they are, where they are, where you are, and who you are. <laughs> um, also, what are, are you filming or are you taking a photograph? Um, so the reason I say that is because if you're taking a photograph, that's a still shot. I mean, there's no audio, so you're not recording people. There are various state laws and federal laws regarding recording people, uh, audio, um, you know, generally, and depending on the state you're in, as long as one person consents to the recording, like a telephone recording, then it's okay. But some states require everybody. So where they're located, where you're located will depend. And the state law will really drive a lot of this. Gotcha. Also, if they are a public figure on a public street, then generally you can film them. Um, if they're a private person on a public street, you may be able to film them. Um, if they are a public figure, maybe who a like celebrity who makes money off their image and you film them just for news purposes, then that may be okay. But if you film them and try to make them their spokesperson for, you know, you, you caught Matthew McConaughey taking a sip of your, your vitamin water and you took a photo of it. Now you've posted, you got his photo all over the place, but you're not paying him. That's not going to be proper because he has the right, you know, people have the right to own their own likeness. Um, celebrities make a lot of money off that likeness, and so you can't use someone's likeness without permission. That makes sense. The safest bet always, whenever someone is identifiable in a video image, is to get a model release to have them um, sign off on it, or you can blur them out. Um, barring that, you just need to be very careful and consider, okay, what am I using this for? Is it, am I trying to commercialize it? Is it news? Is it for education? Um, and where am I? Am I on a public street or am I filming somebody in their backyard? Because there's a there's the there are a lot of privacy laws and they vary from state to state and jurisdiction to jurisdiction that protect people in their own home but as a general rule when you're inside your own home you should be safe from prying eyes um but you ask yourself well wait a minute i'm standing at the street and i can see in so that's all i'm doing i'm not on their property um that's still there's this phrase called intrusion upon seclusion um and then well, how you what you do with that that particular image if you take a photo of someone and they're excited about, you know, their little kid, um, you know, scoring a goal and they're holding them up like this, but misconstrued, it could look like they're shaking their kid and they're about to throw them. Uh, and you kind of imply that with this, with your headline because you're trying to sell more newspapers or whatever at the checkout line at the store. Um, that, that could be what we call false light. So how you use your images, what your purpose is, who they are, who you are and where they are. It's a, it's a web of intertwined different things to consider. No kidding. In a situation where you've got some passerby, you know, kind of, you know, accidentally photobombing something, they're really not part of it, but they're not real pleased with it. Um, the best solution would be to, to blur them out, to find a way to do that because they're, Depending on where you are, um, you know, Texas, you know, has has pretty strong privacy rights. We we do respect our privacy here of, a, of an individual. I'm assuming this isn't some celebrity that was, you know, doing, doing a perp walk or something. Um, so if it was just a normal dude or a normal gal walking on the streets, um, they have a strong right to protect themselves. Now, whether or not a judge or jury would agree with them, that's a whole different question. But do you really want to spend your time and money going down that road when you could spend a few minutes with a little Adobe shop, you know, <laughs> video blur and just take care of it right there. Thank you so much for your help. Thanks again for asking Adel. I wish you the best.